This video shows how to install the client software once you've created an online backup account. So from our website, click Login and type in the credentials for the account you just created. And once you're logged in, on the left side, you're going to go down to the installers. And in this case, I have a Windows machine, so I'm going to click Windows. Once it saves that file, I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to say Run. At the welcome screen, I'm going to click Next. Agree to the license. And if you want to change the destination folder for the files, you can click Browse and change that. Otherwise, click Next to agree. Uh, type in your backup account again, and this needs to match the account you just used to log in with. So it needs to be an email address. And it's important it matches up so you can verify your computer. Then once you click Install, it's going to install the software. And because I am logged in, with a small business account, I can install up to 20 clients. So on your dashboard, you'll always be able to tell how many backup devices you have connected to the account and how many are allowed. If you have a enterprise plan, the maximum backup devices is unlimited, but a small business is capped at 20. Once this finishes installing, I'm going to click Finish. and then the pending device registration shows up right here. So this is the name of the computer I'm installing the client on. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to accept the default folder for this group. I can also add other folders under groups later if I want to, but for now I'm going to say yes, that's fine. So that's been approved. It's just going to wait for it to connect to the cloud and then it'll add this to your account. This usually takes less than a minute because it's transferring back and forth. And once that happens, this computer will now show up under my default group. There's my computer. And that's all it takes to install the client. Once you've done that, you can start creating actions and back up your documents.